guys what's up it's just back at it again right now we are in Foshan and we are leaving for Macau tomorrow we have a game in a couple days I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and we'll see you guys next time Hello everybody, you should know that I am very sick. I can't go out, <laughs> I'm sick. Mike was sick for a couple days and you then- not very sick. <laughs> you over there drinking wine, eating chips with your- Boy, if you don't get- Anywho, Mike was sick for a couple days when we were back in Foshan. And then the day we leave to come back to Macau, I get sick. But yes, I am still drinking wine because how else, how do you people deal with sickness? What are good remedies? Wine and tissue. Today we went to, where did we go babe? Was it high school? Yeah, it was a high school. Today we went to a high school in Macau. It's really just a school though. Cause it's really just a school though. Cause so we went <coughs> to this school and um, Mike did a little interview in front of the the kids. Maybe we just put him through some drills, play it, uh, and play a cool little game, shooting game and stuff. I think you made them better today. That's not safe. Um, so a question for both of you is that um, how do you balance since we've also learned that there's a big difference in culture and development for youth players or even professional players how do you keep that balance of coming in as a foreign player to bring in the attitude intensity and all the skills and, and positive things you have <coughs> How's it going, y'all? Oh, Taga, Taga, Ho, Taga, Ho. So, uh, basically, balancing that, I think uh, as foreign players, uh, me and, and Ryan also, uh, we just have to be leaders. Uh, that's our job to come in here. Uh, one of the most important things for us, too, is to make sure that we are as hard if not working harder than everyone on the team to set an example so um this is a question for ann um it's that player people who've seen you play they see you have a uh, very good in pace control during a game and how how did that how did you develop that and how do you bring that into the abl or running a team offense as a point guard um i developed that because i was i'm just slow so i mean <laughs> There was no uh, no other alternative but to develop some type of change of pace to try to try to make up for my just overall lack of speed. Um, and the next one is that he hold and as for Mike, um, question that they would have for you is they've seen um, ex uh, how would I say uh, a explosive scoring performance from time to time and and very more of um high high pace high high pace how do you say skillful performances and for most of the young players um they want to want want to look good and play good at the same time and what what are you, what is your advice for them well, first of all like like ant was saying i i don't think he's slow by the way but um you kind of develop into you know you you play to your strengths so um He's not as fast, but he's so so he controls the game, he makes everybody play at his speed. For me, I'm smaller and skinnier, um, but I'm fast, so I have to use my speed and my you know slimness to my advantage. Uh, being able to handle the ball and control the ball, 
and use my speed, I, I have to do that because I'm not big enough to use my body to protect the basketball. So, uh, you know, just developing ball handling skills every day, knowing that that's what I was going to need to be good at in order to play at a high level. So, um, I mean, advice for you guys, people out there is just, you know, just work on your game and know yourself. I'm six two, six one, really. Um, so I'm not gonna work on trying to dunk on people and you know using using my body. You know I, I have to play to your strengths. Come uh, I always actually wish that I could play like him. I love the way he plays, but I know that if I try to play that way, I won't be successful. Come go um, so his question for Mike and Ed both, um, how do you, when or how do you identify your strength style or what you're good, really good at? How you identify it, I would say for me personally, it's what you feel comfortable doing. As a young person, I think you should always work on every part of your game. Um, you don't want to limit yourself to anything when you're younger um, because as you grow older you will start to see what you will be. Well, you, you might get taller, uh, you might you know build out, you might get a little bigger, you might stay small. Um, so you never want to limit yourself when you're younger and by the time you know where we are professionally you have to specialize in what you do. I got a question for you guys. Who's got Instagram? Alright, I need everybody to go follow me on Instagram. <laughs> That's uh, underscore and these are your current followers. Oh. <laughs> these are your current followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I need everybody to go on. It's underscore and underscore Tucker. Come to the water. I do a lot. But you are a n t. But you are p u c k e r. So I could tell your friends too. You want to live on your own camp. I am the camera woman. I have to get these kids together with the, with the drills.